Okay, just a really quick show, a uh, similar process to what I used to unwrap the head. Um, unfortunately, the one that I did earlier, I did it in a light wave, um, but the process is the same for 3D Studio Max. So I'll show you kind of the same process in Max of uh, how to get similar results. So, um, with your mesh, um, the area that you want to have unwrapped, set it to um, the material ID. So, for example, under uh, uh, the set ID uh, 2, I've already got the mesh that I want unwrapped. So, this does not include the back of the eyeballs, the back of the mouth, uh, some of the inside of the nostril, um, could even do inside the ear. In fact, I think in the previous one I, I cut that out. Um, but this is just to quickly show you what, how to get there. So with that selected, you can go into your modifier list and add the unwrap UVW and then you want uh, what it gives you right away so that's my previous one so we'll set this to a new channel to show you that will be something like that um, but we want to use a cylinder map oh, select polygon and select a cylinder map on the z-axis and that will start to get you something you can use um, but we want the seam to be in the back of the head and right now it is on it says green line is a seam so it's on the side of the head so all you have to do is rotate is it, oops. rotate this a bit on top there so that the seam is in the back of the head about there and then that would give you this which almost works on its own but to clean it up a little bit more you can do a little bit of relax that pulls some of the geometry in it also breaks up some of the geometry so you have to fix that and get the end. But I found that doing just a little relax and then the quick peel gets me some really good results. Um, and then you can just pack it. And we'll move it. Oops, move it up. And then rotate it back. Just like that. You can see that. That gives you some really good results. Now you can still clean it up, of course, in Max. You'll want to probably uh, weld these vertices back together. And you can do that by going to your vertex mode and then just selecting those two. And then it is weld, weld selected objects. And you just have to go through that each one. And that's kind of really it. You'll probably want to clean up some some more areas and play with different settings depending on how your model works. I mean this works pretty easily for my model, but everyone's gonna be a little bit different. Now you might want to clean up around the mouth, but that's not quite right in there probably take out some more polygons but you can kind of see how, how you get started on it and it's just a matter of cleaning it up like you do with your, your model so I hope that helps